Hello race fans and welcome to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for race number two of the Indianapolis doubleheader. We saw Dylan Pote go to victory lane in the Indianapolis road course. Well, this week we're heading to the Oval. This is the Brickyard 400 here and we are going to have some good racing. We've got 32 laps broken down into three stages. Stage one is 10 laps, stage two is 10 laps, and stage three is 12 laps. We're gonna have some good race in here as always. Jessica Shelton, Henry Sanford, make up your front row. My name is Michael Norman, and this is your voice of the Budweiser All Pro Series. I'm gonna pull up your playoff point grid, and we're gonna go through it. You're not gonna be able to see it, but we are gonna go through it, and there it is. <clears throat> Dylan Young atop the point standings with two wins. Rob Evans second with two wins. Trent Dunham third with two wins. Those are your first top three seeds right now. And then the rest of these drivers have one win. Anthony Mercury, Trey Wright, Cole Fever, Marcus Schuettenberg, rookie Andrew Davis, Kyle Matthews, Stephen Cullen, Nick Gunther, and Zachary Fitzwater, who just made his way back into the top 25 in the point standings. Therefore, his win counts. We have three people who have wins, but are outside the top 25 in points. Those are rookie Laura Chung, Cody Lamas, and last yesterday's winner, Dylan Poti. They have got to get their way into the top 25. <clears throat> I think they have this race and next week at Daytona, which I believe is the last race of the season. I can pull up my schedule real quick. Uh, yep, so we've got... This race, ignore that, sorry about that. So we've got this race and Daytona for the season finale night race at Daytona, regular season finale night race. They've got that, those just, those two races to get inside the top 25. So those guys have, and gal have got to really try to step it up here. Meanwhile, now here are the here are the four drivers that are inside that are inside the top 16 in points that don't have a win. They are Noah Hart, Seth Cole, William Brock, and Charlie Buxton, who actually is tied with Charles Sanford right now for that last spot. Now, if any one of these drivers, those three drivers, make it back into the top 25 in points, then we will end up seeing. More, more of these drivers and the dri more of those drivers without a win get knocked out of the top 16. With that being said, it's time to go trackside for the opening ceremonies and get this race underway here at Indianapolis. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the
to give the most famous words in motorsports is the chairperson of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Mary Hallman George. Gentlemen, start your engines. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The engines fired here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. <clears throat> we are getting ready for 32 laps of exciting racing here today as you see the drivers pull off. Right here. The starting lineup. First time in a while we've had the starting lineup. You should see it for at least the next two races here. At least the next, this race and the next week at Daytona. Now we're going to have 32 laps of racing. Combine that down into three stages. 10 laps, 10 laps, and 12 laps. So let's take a look at the three drivers that are currently outside the top 25. As I said earlier, we'll start with Dilipoti. Dilipoti, it looks like he's about 14th starting spot. He's on the outside. We'll see if he can make his way up towards the front. The other one is the 96 of Laura Chung. She's starting about mid-pack back here. We'll see if she has a car underneath her that can get herself up to the front. And of course, the other one, Cody Lamas, starting ninth in the race. The track info, depending on if the starting lineup is finished or not, should be coming up here shortly. You'll see how cloud, oh, it's a very cloudy racetrack that could make for more grip on this racing surface. Meanwhile, you see the cars coming through turns three and four off the corner pit, pit road entry if I remember correctly could be treacherous at this racetrack I believe I downloaded a new racetrack so it should be different meanwhile the pace car is off the Brickyard 400 is set to get underway green flag is out we're racing All 38 cars have made it to the green flag. Jessica Shelton trying to get out to the early lead, and she will. These drivers go, trying to get up to roughly about 200 miles per hour before they head off into these corners here, about 204 before getting on the brakes. Dylan Young battling for the second position already here. With Christina Bell behind her here comes Cody Lamas, who needs to be up into the top, who needs to be up in the top ten, and get as much stage points as possible here as they come down the front straightaway. Completing lap number one, it's Jessica Shelton leading the first lap. Dylan Young is right up to the back bumper of Shelton. D Young's going to look to the inside of Shelton going into turn two. Move Dylan Young to the race lead now. Shelton losing second place to Andrew Davis. Now she could be under fire from, from Henry Sanford if Sanford dives it off in the corner and he doesn't quite do that. Jessica's now got to regroup as Dylan Young takes the lead. Cody Lama sitting back here in the sixth position. He's got JT Bryant. He's got Sam Ozkin back here as well. Meanwhile, Dylan Poti falling back now was 29th as he crossed the start finish line that time. Perhaps a ill handling race car to start to start this race. It is very cloudy and the weather does affect these race cars quite dramatically. There's Zachary Fitzwater. He's got to try to stay inside the top 25 in points too, so he's got to get up there as well as we're gonna 
Let's go back here through the field. Dylan Young still leading this race. <clears throat> With the Budweiser All Pro Series not going to Chicagoland anymore, this is the closest track that Dylan Young could consider his hometown, his home race track. And he's leading the race right now. He's the fastest car out on the racetrack. He ran a 46.516 that time by, which was the fastest lap, compared to a 46.601 Andrew Davis in second place. This car is beginning to kind of get single filed out. Cody Lamas stuck to the outside. Boy, I talked about Laura Chung needing to get up here and get some points. Here she comes now battling that 48 car, and that could be in it for a spot inside the top 10 or at least inside the top 12. Cody Lamas going the wrong way. Laura Chung going the right way here. We'll see where she is when she crosses the start-finish line. The Young leads yet another lap here. All right, Laura Chung not quite. I believe that is the 12th position. Yep. And now she's going to go underneath both the 18 and the 9 of Jessica Shelton. And that's going to put her into the top 10. Cody Lamas and Zachary Fitzwater up trying to get up here as well. Meanwhile, back up at the front, Dylan Young slowly beginning to pull away as Henry Sanford now is going to challenge for the second position. We are halfway through stage number one. Well, we're coming to halfway. It'll be halfway when they cross the line this time. Your current top 10 rundown. Dylan Young, Henry Sanford, Andrew Davis, JT Bryant, Samet Oskin, Nick Gunther up here as well. Christina Bell, the 43 of Sky Commons, the 14 of Allie Rain, and the 96 of Laura Chung. Just make just she just made her way into the top into the top 10, so she's definitely gonna need some stage points here. Now uh, JT Bryant falling back. Gunther, Simon Oskin, and Christina Bell gonna try to pick up a spot. Whoa, and Christina Bell really dove it off into the corner and about got into the side of the 22. And I don't think that JT Bryant is going to appreciate that. Oh, is the caution out? I don't think the caution... I see some issues with James Qualls. So we have some issues with the 34 of James Qualls. He's got some real bad damage back there on, on this 34 machine. Uh, we're going to maybe have to take a look at that real quick. Let's see what happened to James Qualls as he's sitting on pit road here. As you see, he crosses the line. This happened probably at the rear of the field. Let's see what happens here. Going through the corner. Go, coming down through. He seems everything's going good. The three of Cole Deaver just overdrove turn four. Sent the 34 up into the wall, and I don't know how this was not a caution. I guess maybe it was because it was it was at the back of the field. He got he was up into the wall. He was able to refire it, and away he went. So I'm very surprised at the 34 car, or the 30. Uh, excuse me, at, at the uh, Budweiser All Pro Series officials for not throwing a yellow flag for that. But that's a very tough break for Qualls here. As now up here at the front, we see we got Henry Sanford going to try to maybe try to make a challenge at the tw at the two of, of Dylan Young here. And we'll see if he can do that. We've got three laps to go in stage number one as these drivers run past James Qualls. The 43 up here trying to pass the 14. That's going to bring Laura Chung up here as well into the spot man i'm telling you keep an eye on laura chung she has had her good moments and she has had her bad moments and a good moment was when she got the win at bristol dirt earlier this season and she's been trying to keep herself into the top 25 in points as she goes now for ninth place meanwhile again up here at the front oh we looks like we have some cars coming down pit road that's gonna dylan young coming down pit road it looks to be the only car coming down pit road this could be strategy. He made it on the pit road before two laps to go in the stage. Not that, you know, they throw the caution for that stuff. But strategy on part of Dylan Young, will it pay off? That's going to be the key question here. I mean, these drivers, because we don't have caution flags to end stages. 
So it's some type of strategy that De Young is 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 trying to is trying to implement here, and we'll see if it's going to work out for him. We'll see if anybody else decides they want to try to come down pit road, and it looks like we've got some cars wanting to come down. Some cars, a lot more cars coming down pit road this time, and Laura Chung stays out. Laura Chung is running the is running a strategy here. She could possibly win this stage. And if she does, that's going to be a big boost of points for her. The two the 96, the 48, the 8, the 52 and a couple of other gaggle of cars here have stayed out. And they could come by this time. So if nope, if everybody comes to pit road this time, Depending on where the start finish line is according to their pit box, Laura Chung might just win this stage. You know they've got to come down this time. And here she comes. Dylan Young is going to stay out and get his lap back. Somebody stayed out. I don't know who it was. Oh, it was Qualls. James Qualls. Qualls stayed out. All right, so this is it. Let's see what's going to happen. It looks like Laura Chung's pit stall is before the start-finish line. They're going to keep an eye on Cody Lamas. Cody Lamas is going to limp across the line and win the stage, but we're going to have to wait and see him where everybody else comes across. Matthew Rodriguez looks like he's going to probably finish second in the stage. And everybody else is pitting on down, so let's see what happens here. It's going to be the 96 going to finish third. The A car finishing fourth. The 52 fifth. 99 sixth. The three car seventh. The four car eighth. The five car ninth. And the 24 car in tenth. All right. So now as we try to figure out. Who the leader is, it looks like it's going to be Henry Sanfer. We're going to go ahead, we're going to take a quick commercial break and be right back with more action here at, at Indianapolis. And we are back here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Big change up at the front here as Henry Sanford has the lead. Andrew Davis runs second. The 21 and Nick Gunther is third. And Dylan Young's strategy didn't quite pay off for him as he's back in the fourth position. Fifth place is Christina Bell. Sixth is Laura Chung. Seventh is Sky Commons. Eighth is Henry Fitzwater. Or Zach, Henry Fitzwater. Wow. Zach Fitzwater. JT Bryant is, well, I guess he was 10th. JT Bryant is 9th, and Trey Wright will be 10th. Oh, look at the 19. Look at the 21. Drafting together to try to get, get around the 37. The 19 of Davis is going to look to the inside here. Oh, he had to really lift out of the throttle there. Henry Sanford really had to bail out of the gas. It's going to bring this gaggle of cars up here all together. The top four within a second of each other. Can Dylan Young fight to get back to the lead? That's going to be the question. If Dylan Young can run about eight laps, so we're looking at between eight and 11 laps on gas here. These, some of these cars may have to, are definitely going to have to pit while some aren't, or some will have to pit maybe twice. But now that stage one is done, 
Stage two is going to go to the end of lap number 20. Andrew Davis now ahead of the pack. Got a Toyota, a Chevy, and two Fords, your top four, and then another Chevy, your top five. Right now it's Toyota, Chevy, Ford. Meanwhile, back at the pack here, we've got some changes going on. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nathan Orman just moves up into the top 10. Zachary Fitzwater just falls outside the top 10. And Cody and Lama say, dude, now Fitzwater, I think he's all right. As long as Fitzwater can run in the top 15, I think he will be okay when it, when it, comes, to, uh, when it comes to the points. Meanwhile, a change for second place. Here comes Nick Gunther up here. Gunther takes over second place. Gunther won about two weeks ago. Or, yeah. Hey, Gunther won about two weeks ago at the Sonoma Road Course. Now, Gunther trying to get up here and put that Wood Brothers forward into the top, into the top spot here. Coming up to halfway through stage number two. Gunther going to make a run to the inside of the 1919 car. Tried to put the block on him, but a little bit of contact. Oh, boy, that was close. Nick Gunther going to challenge and take the lead down in the turn number two. Now, move that 21 car up to the third or to the first position. And, boy, look at this group. Five cars all within a second of each other. Henry Sanford now going to move to the inside of the night. Ooh. 19 car just cleared himself. Down the front straight away. Go Nick Gunther going to officially lead the lap. Here's got the 19 right behind him. Will the 19 repay the favor? I don't think he will. The drafting is really coming into play down these straightaways. The 19, right on the back bumper of the 21. Dylan Young, last season, season 11 champion. Two wins on this season, poised to repeat as champion. He'll have a shot at defending his title when he gets it into the playoffs. I believe there is only two people in this top 10 that have not won a race this season so far. And that's Henry Sanford and Christina Bell. As we saw Dylan Young coming back down pit road. Scheduled stop. We knew this was going to happen. But Andrew Davis right on the back bumper. Oh, the 16 and the 2 car decided to come down this time. Will Davis pull out to try to pass the 21 car? He's been all over his back bumper. Trying to put the pressure on the 21 to get him to make a mistake. Oh, the 19 car is going to come down pit road. A lot of cars coming down pit road this time. Gunther going to stay out with two laps left in the stage. We'll see who stays out again. We know Laura Chung can go farther than all of these drivers. Twenty one's gonna come in. Thirty seven's coming in. Oh, Laura Chung is gonna come in this time. I didn't think she would. Figure she would have stayed out, and that's gonna be Cody Lamas' thing. As there was almost a huge wreck back here. Cody Lamas stays out. 
We know that Cody Lamas' pit stall is after the start finish line on pit road. So, theoretically, Cody Lamas, when he comes into pit road this time, could still win the stage. He's going to get around the 77. And here come the top three, down pit road. Shelton will stay out. And here comes everybody else. Keeping an eye on Cody Lamas as he will see the green checkered flag while on pit road to win stage number two. And we're gonna keep an eye on anybody else who's coming to try to come across the line as well. Looks like the 52 of Steven Pollard might be second. Yep, Pollard's going to be second. Fitzwater is going to be third. 99, the 3, the 4, the 5, the 24, and possibly the 1. We'll see what happens. So they all come across the line. And it looks like it's set. Looks like Andrew Davis might cycle around to the lead as you see the official results for the stage there. We're going to go ahead and take a quick commercial break and be right back with the last half of this race. All right, and here we go. This is it right here. This will be the last 12 laps or 11 laps of the race. And it looks like Andrew Davis is going to have the lead after the cycle of pit stops. As you see a change for the lead here, it's going to be Christina Bell taking over the lead. And Henry Sanford going to be trying to move into the second position. Christina Bell, she got one win last season. She could get a win this season, but I don't know if she's in the top 25 in points. But it could definitely boost her as she got stage points that last time by. But we'll see what happens when pit stops are all said and done, because I believe that some of these cars may have to make a pit stop before the race is over with. 
Dylan Young moves back into the third spot as Christina Bell will get a point for leading a lap. Honestly, I'm not sure who's locked up for the most laps led. Because I'll have to find that out after the race is over. But it's been a good battle here in Indianapolis so far. James Qualls just really trying to limp it home. Let's see where some of our drivers are that need a good finish here. Dylan Poti is in the 23rd position. Cody Lamas is in the 15th position. And Laura Chung is in the 6th position. And she's trying to get a run off the corner and challenge the 18 car. All right, she's fallen back to the 8th position. Our pole sitter, Jessica Shelton's up here. She's gotten back into the top 10 now. Nick Gunther, who had the race lead for a good while, has fallen back to the fifth position now. As these drivers are still trying to catch the 77. And they are also catching James Qualls at the same time. Spire Motorsports has, had, has fielded good cars all season long. Christina Bell looking to try to be the first Spire Motorsports car to go to victory lane in season 12. They are catching Qualls. are hoping they can catch him on the back straightaway. Kick him up to the outside lane. And kick, yeah, kick him up to the outside lane so he won't bother anybody. Oh, there's really slowing him down here. There the 37 car goes. Going to kick him up to the outside lane. Oh, it looks like the uh, two car of Dylan Young is going to be the first car to break to pit road. We'll see if that strategy will, p will pay off here. He's got to take just enough gas to get to the end of the race. We got six laps to go this time by. Coming to five. Right now, it's still just the 77 and the 37. Nick Gunther is moving into the third position now. The, the top two are cars that have not won a race this season. Now, it looks like Christina Bell's coming to pit road and Henry Sanford is staying out this time. Henry Samper staying out. A lot of cars coming down pit road. There's Dylan Young coming out just ahead of the race leader. Now the 37 car coming to pit road. The A car is staying out as well as the 48 of Cody Lamas. Four laps of racing to go. These cars might have a better advantage because the longer they stay out, that's the less amount of fuel that these cars will have to take. Now they're coming down pit road. Oh. 
The three of Cole Deaver stayed out. I just saw the three. Where is he at? Right here. The three of Cole Deaver. Two laps to go. We'll see if the three car comes down this time. He is, and so are a bunch of cars behind him. So I have no idea what's gonna, who's going to take the lead at the end of this race. Seems like the 48 car, Cody Lamas, might be able to take the lead. I don't know. Here comes D Dylan Young to his outside. Dylan Young is going to probably cycle around as the possible race leader. What an amazing feat this would be if D. Young were to cycle around as the race leader. Two laps of racing to go. And it looks like it's going to be Dylan Young. The strategy is definitely kicked off. They'll be coming to the white flag this time by. Can Dylan Young hold off Cody Lamas? Going to have to wait and see what happens. So the white flag is in the air. One lap of racing to go. Cody Lama is going to move to the inside of Dylan Young, who shuts the door on him. That was close. That was Cody Lama's attempt right there. Can he get enough? Can he get enough to muster up another shot in turns three and four? I don't know. Dylan Young looking to try to go into the into the playoffs with three wins. And it looks like he's going to do it off of turn number four. Down the front straightaway. Dylan Young is going to see the checkered flag. And Dylan Young wins the, Indiana, uh, the Brickyard 400. I almost said the Indianapolis 500, but that's not what this is. This is the Brickyard 400. Got to keep an eye on the 20 of Juan Garcia. He's going to come around in the 36th position. And he's going to take the checkered flag there. The race should be official now. We are going to go watch Dylan Young burn it down and go to victory lane here at Indianapolis. And we'll be right back with the results. And here's Dylan Young celebrating his third victory of the season. And it comes at a crown jewel like the Indianapolis Motor Speedway's Brickyard 400. Penske went to victory lane in both the road course and the oval. <laughs> at the road course, it was Dylan Poti, And at the oval, it was Dylan Young. I guess you could say... The Indianapolis Motor Speedway hosted the Dylan and Dylan show. Now, Dylan Young could stop wrecking up his car and doing his burnouts. That would be great. See Dylan here doing a U-turn. Looks like he's heading finally to victory lane. Passed by his pit box. Nope, Dylan, that's not the right entry to pit road. Or to victory lane. Here it is, right there. Back behind the wall and into victory lane. Let's go get the official race results.
We are back here at the Brickyard 400. Dylan Young in victory lane celebrating with his crew. An impressive third win on the season here. Third win of the season. And that's going to elevate De Young probably to the regular season championship as he came in here. I think he was tied with Kyle Matthews who finishes 25th in this race. So D. Young, Cody Lamas, Stephen Pollard, Christina Bell, Henry Sanford, Sky Commons, J.T. Bryant, Nathan Orman, Andrew Davis, and Zachary Fitzwater round out the top 10. Laura Chung in 11th, so a good points day for her. Cole Deaver in 12th. Shelton 14th. Charles Buxton in, uh, excuse me, Shelton is 13th. Charles Buxton is 14th. Benjamin Miles 15th. Charles Sanford 16th. Rob Evans 17th. Marcus Schoenberg 18th. Nick Gunther, 19th, and Stephen Colin in 20th. We've had one retiree from the race. That was the 41 of Jonathan Zorline with a camshaft mechanical problem. And James Qualls, who was three laps down by the end of the race. Dylan Poti, a very bad poor finish for him back in 32nd. That's not going to help him towards getting into the playoffs. He's got one more race to try to get into the top 25, and we'll have to see where that puts him. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching the Brickyard 400. It was definitely an interesting fuel strategy race. The drafting came into effect. There was a lot of cars passing. So that's good. It wasn't a snooze fest. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Congratulations to Dylan Young. A very, very well-deserved win. He definitely showed it. I believe he was one of the fastest cars out there. Next week, we wrap up and we head out to Daytona International Speedway. For some under the lights action at Daytona, uh, under the lights at the Super Speedway of Daytona. It's the regular season finale. Who will make the playoffs? Who will miss out? We're going to show you the points at the end of this race. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. From Michael Norman, I say, until we meet again.